Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get a companion where some of the gang members will literally ride with you, follow you around, fight enemies. It's super cool. Now, this I think is technically not an official feature of Red Dead Redemption 2. I actually believe it was a cut feature that Rockstar had planned, but never actually got to implement it into the final version of the game. Now, why do I believe that? Well, there's been a lot of videos posted online where I don't know if a, a glitch would be the right term, but for example, you'll see Sadie Adler following Arthur, and she's this like white blip on the map, and you can see that he's not a part of any missions. He's just in free roam, but Sadie Adler is following his every move. And as you see there, it doesn't matter where Arthur goes, she will continue to be this white blip on the map, and she'll match his speed as he speeds up and it's really cool it really reminds me so much of skyrim and other games that have this companion feature and you can see that even as arthur leaves camp she's still following him pretty neat and there's even been more recent discoveries where it looks as if some members of the gang will like start to follow you around randomly this was actually taken in chapter six where Arthur started getting followed by Javier near the Beaver Hollow camp. So interesting encounters like this lead me to believe that yes, there was supposed to be like an RPG Skyrim like companion feature. If you guys have ever played Skyrim, you know that you can get a companion, they will fight with you. Uh, you can use them to store items, which was important in that game that dealt with carry weight and stuff like that. And honestly, I could see this working really well in Red Dead Redemption 2 and honestly being awesome. Like imagine if Arthur just said, hey, Sadie, come ride with me. And, you know, they went to town and they did various things or they, you know, fought off some gang members along the way. That would just be so awesome. And I'm sure you could do this with a bunch of other characters, too, like John Marston, Bill, Javier. I I'm sure almost every single character, maybe aside from a few like maybe Molly O'Shea and Pearson uh, would be able to go out with you. But anyways, getting back to the point of this video, those I think were glitches. I was actually shown a way in which you could do this effectively and like on purpose. So I was sent this video by user Lone Wolf Wayne, who actually showed me how to team up with Javier in free roam. So I don't know if this is the only uh, way in which you can get a companion, I'm sure that there are other missions in game that work very similar like this, but in order to get this to work, you need to be able to play the mission Americans at Rest, which is one of the first missions you can do in chapter two. So hopefully you have a save file before that, or if you really wanna try this out for yourself, just start a new game, get to chapter two, it'll take you like 30 minutes, and you can try this out for yourself. So here's what you wanna do. Javier and Charles are gonna be located at the saloon. And what you want to do is you want to lean up against this wall right here until that giant yellow circle becomes a small yellow dot. And then what you want to do is open the door and start shooting anyone on the inside. This will get you wanted and this will cause Charles and Javier to come outside. And you'll notice that both of them are following you around. In this instance, it's Javier who's following me around. Charles ended up running away. Now from here, what you want to do is fight the law just a little bit and then you want to end up dying. Now, if you've done this correctly, when you spawn in, you should notice that Javier is standing right by your side and that he is now your companion. So I definitely recommend you guys try this for yourself because this is incredibly cool. And what's neat about this is you can take Javier literally anywhere. Like he is going to follow you. In fact, he'll even act like a normal companion. You guys can see there that when Arthur gets on his horse, Javier will go out of his way to find one that he can use as well. So it's not like the companions are total dummies where if you do one thing, they're just going to do like the bare minimum to catch up with you. No, like they react to what you as Arthur, or John the character is doing. Like if you get in a gunfight, they will start to engage. If you get on a horse, they'll find a faster method of transportation in order to catch up to you. It's actually really, really awesome. And like I mentioned earlier, you can pretty much take them anywhere and they will follow you. 
and they will basically react to the, the world the same way that ultimately you would. Now, the one thing you do want to be careful if you do try this for yourself and if you are successful, if you end up dying, it's going to reset everything. So if you are able to get a companion and you end up getting into this firefight and you die, everything will be reset. Now, another thing you might have noticed here, as you can see on the mini map, is you aren't able to do any of the missions. You can see the one with Javier is canceled out and the one with Uncle that's back at camp is also canceled out. So by what we did in this video today, certainly didn't like unlock a cut feature. I'm pretty sure this is like a workaround or a glitch because it's not a normal part of the game. I mean, it is a part of the game's coding, just not something we can normally activate. Now it does beg the question, why would Rockstar cut a feature like this? I mean, it sounds pretty easy to implement and there's plenty of gang members that this could ultimately work with. So again, it raises the question, why did they cut this? The first theory I can think of is maybe Rockstar didn't want to feel like you were tied down to someone else because all of the missions that you play in game feature all the other characters. So it's not like you never get the chance to see them. So maybe they thought that outside of the missions, players, when they're playing as Arthur or John, would like to be by themselves as often as possible. And that if they really did want to hang out with the other gang members, they could do many of the tasks at camp, they could do the companion activities, and that right there, the companion activity, might have actually taken place of the companion feature. Those sort of like extra side missions that you do with Javier, Micah, Kieran, stuff like that. That's kind of what Rockstar might have transformed this into. Another thing they might have been thinking of is they didn't want this to be too close to an RPG or like a role-playing game like Skyrim. Maybe they wanted Red Dead Redemption 2 to have a little bit of separation from games like that. And another possibility is that this is simply just cut content. Maybe Rockstar didn't have enough time to finish this part of the game before the release date was set. I mean, keep in mind, Red Dead Redemption 2 was delayed like two or three times, so it's no surprise that Rockstar and its developers were probably like really crunching to get this game out. I mean, they did a terrific job with it, but maybe some sacrifices had to be made, and, and maybe the companionship part of being able to free roam with another gang member was something that was sort of left out. And the reason I suspect this is there's a ton of screenshots that Rockstar released when they were promoting Red Dead Redemption 2 that shows characters never out in a mission together or like they're never in that spot during any of the missions. Like for example, in this screenshot right here, you see Arthur and Sadie navigating together in New Hanover near like the Citadel Rock area. They don't go on a mission in this area when Sadie isn't like in the depressed widow stage. So that's something that never happened. That might have been, again, another companionship moment right there. There's also screenshots where you've got Micah and Arthur together. They never go on a, a certain mission in this spot. So there's lots of little hints and clues in the uh, screenshots that Rockstar released before the game out. And keep in mind that the president of Rockstar Games, like the top boss, Sam and Dan Hauser, even confirmed themselves that like five plus hours of content had to be cut from the game. So there's a good chance that some of that was likely the companions that you could have and that you could utilize as either Arthur or John. Now I'm trying to think off the top of my head, what other missions could you do this with where potentially other companions might be able to follow you? Well, let's take a look at what happened in the mission Americans at Rest. You've got Javier and Charles who are sitting at the bar but you can still get close to them with them being spawned in without accepting the mission. So that's sort of the thing you have to look for here. You need characters outside of camp and you need them to be in a mission that doesn't start immediately as soon as you see them and where you have the ability to disrupt the mission. So for example, shooting off your gun and attracting the law. So I'm sure you guys might be able to come up with a few different missions where you could try something like this because as I mentioned earlier, it would be interesting to get other NPCs or other gang members, I should say, to be able to follow us around, like Bill and Sadie. That would be amazing. Maybe even someone like Dutch or Micah, as silly as that might be. Now, I actually had a good bit of trouble trying this myself, and this is something that you might run into in single player so I don't know if it just takes multiple tries, but every time I was doing this, uh, I would spawn back in and Javier would be nowhere to be found. 
So I don't know if I was doing something wrong. I'll show you guys a few of my attempts right here. I mean, I feel like I did everything that was showcased in the first video that Lone Wolf Wayne sent me. But for whatever reason, I wasn't able to do this. So you guys should definitely give this a shot for yourself. If you've got a new save file like I did, I saved as soon as I entered chapter two, which basically allows me to do any mission that I want. And so I just gave this a shot for myself. You should totally try the same thing as well and report back to this video. See if you had any luck and see if you were able to get a companion uh, by trying this method. But anyways, that's all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating on this video. That'd be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.